Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. If you would like to check those out, the links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And uh, when the winners are announced, I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Um, just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. If you don't mind winning any one of those things, you can hashtag the word all, okay? Um, if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial, the link is below. Uh, it's about two and a half hours long. If you would like to book a reading, the link is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the links are below. Um, right now, I've got Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle that are buy one, get one free. And then we've got Raven's Rose Oracle, which is currently 20% off. Okay. All right, my darlings, let's get popping here. What are we grateful for today, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> I am grateful for my YouTube family, my cancer babies, my puppies. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I'm just grateful to be here with you guys. All right, let's see what we have for my cancer babies, please. Spirit, cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, we have options. We've got secret love. We've got selfish. We've got Cupid, we've got Nature, we've got Seducer, and Twin Flame. <sighs> we've got Obsessed and Divine Feminine. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Cancer, what we have here is your person has a third party around them. This person is presenting themselves as an option to your person. I feel like this could be a karmic, okay? Um, I feel like this individual is self-absorbed and very egotistical and vain, okay? I feel like um, this is someone that is head over heels in love with your person, Okay, uh, this is someone that um, they may enjoy the outdoors or something like that. Maybe this person likes to go camping, hiking. I don't know. Uh, if your person likes to go hunting, camping, hiking out in some way, they could be meeting up with this third party possibly. Um, but I feel that cancer, your person how do I want to put this? So you're the divine feminine here. You're the twin flame. This obsessed card could be an energy of this karmic is in love with your person, but they are obsessed and stalking you because they know that your person wants you. Or it could be that this third party is in love with your person, but your person is in love with you and obsessed with you. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Cancer, this is a third party whose plan is is to cut you out of the picture. Their plan is to get your person to fall out of love with you. Their plan is to get your person to cheat with them. <clears throat> Nine of swords and the devil. This person hates you. Oh my God. I don't use that word often, guys, but this person hates you. They are jealous of you. They envy you. This person is up all night staring at your pictures, your photos. This is someone that wants to be you. They don't even want to be like you. They want to be you. 
this is someone that sees that your person is infatuated with you and I feel, but you have a twin flame connection with your person. You see, with the four of wands here, you have a twin flame connection with your person. Um, and I feel like with the moon card and the emperor here, this is somebody that has hidden emotions for your person. This is someone that has hidden emotions for your person. Now, I feel, Cancer, that with the Ten of Swords and the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands, this could potentially be an ex of your person's where your person is just never going to go back to this person. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, or it could be that this person maybe thought it was over between you guys and this emperor would never come back around towards you. Okay, with the five of cups here and the two of swords, I feel like this is someone that wants this emperor energy, but they can't get back in. This is somebody that with the knight of pentacles here and the five of wands, this is someone that is fighting, trying to apologize to your person. This is someone that wants to win. They want to work it out with your person. Okay, okay. This person is trying to use sex to do this. Um, yeah, they could be trying to use sex to do this. Or Cancer with the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Swords. This person could be waiting for this Emperor to come back, but you're in the picture now. So I feel that Cancer, you are either reuniting with this Emperor energy or you're meeting someone new and this person is your twin flame. But this emperor energy comes with baggage, okay? This is an ex that will not give it up. This is someone that is staring at your pictures, wishing they had what you had, wishing they looked like you. They are obsessed over you. They want you out of the picture. This person has daydreamed about unaliving you. That's how bad it is. This person has daydreamed of ways to like really take you out. This person is dangerous. I don't like this. Tell me about this King of Swords, please. And the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And the Three of Swords. Cancer, this is someone that is that is pursuing your person wanting your person to cheat on you. They are pursuing your person wanting to hurt you. This person has bad intentions towards you. <clears throat> With the tower and the empress, this is someone that can't believe that you are even in the picture. So if this is someone that you know, uh, Cancer, this is someone that can't believe that this emperor went back to you. Or this, if you're new to this, this is someone that can't believe that this emperor has found an empress. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they can't compare to you. And now they're like, fuck, how am I supposed to compare to an empress? How am I supposed to get rid of an empress? And if this, and if you reconciled with this person cancer, they're like, I can't believe that they're back together. Like, are you shitting me right now? You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the nine of swords here. We've got the ace of cups. What we have here is a seducer. This homewrecker, siren energy, okay, is currently having a whole titty attack because they're seeing here with the page of swords that your person is with you. Whether you are new or reconciled with this person doesn't matter. This is someone that is stalking, they're infatuated, they're obsessed, and it's very unhealthy. Very unhealthy, okay? Tell me about the Four of Wands here for Cancer and the Magician. Virgo, we could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Libra. Tell me about this Emperor energy and the Three of Cups. Either you have reconciled with your twin flame cancer or you went out on a date and your soul reconciled with your twin that you knew from another life. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a coming together of a twin flame union. And with the Moon card and the Seven of Cups here and the King of Cups in the reverse, 
we have someone in their feelings to the point that with the Ten of Wands, they can't handle it. This person could be getting blackout drunk to the point that they're passing out in places. They cannot believe that it is over between them and your person. This is someone that wants another chance. This is someone that wants to communicate. It could be a Sagittarius. This is someone that wants your person to juggle you and cheat on you so that then they can come in and throw that in your face and cause an ending. Do you understand? But I guess it's not happening because they're, they're losing their mind. This person is going crazy. They are going insane with jealousy and envy and hatred they, oh my gosh tell me about the five of cups here and the ten of cups tell me about the two of, the two of swords here with the five of swords and the hermit virgo energy Cancer, your twin flame is coming back to tell you, I'm sorry for what I did to you. I love you. I want to reconcile. I want to be with you forever. I have cut the karmic out. I have walked away. I have done a lot of thinking here of who I want to give my time and energy and commitment to. And it ain't that person. It is not that person. This, this karmic is being left out in the cold. Guys, this karmic is like dangerous. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. This karmic still thinks that they can get commitment out of your person. They still think that they can get through to your person. Tell me about the Five of Wands here and the Page of Cups. This is someone that still thinks that they can, you know, come in and express love to your person. They're going crazy. Eight of Swords here, the Devil, the Seven of Cups, they're going nuts. This is someone that's going to continue with this Page of Wands energy to flirt with your person, send, send nudes, sexual advances. They are, they want to win. This is someone that wants to win. Tell me about the, the Eight of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords. This is someone that's going to put a lot of work in wanting to win. And what their goal is here, Cancer, with the Ace of Wands, the King of Wands, the Sun, and the Lover's card. <clears throat> we could be dealing with a Leo or a Gemini. This is how this person is thinking. I know what this king of wands likes in bed. I know what this king of wands wants to look at. I can get this king of wands to fall into lust. And with the lover's card and the sun, this is someone that wants attention. Do you understand? So this third party energy, and I feel like they are a karmic, but this is someone that is going to make sure that they bump into your person on the way to work, or they're going to make sure that, you know, they, they take nudes or sexual pictures and they make sure that you're, it's in your person's line of sight, um, that, you know, they'll send it to your person and make sure your person and sees it but I feel like they're healing they're hearing crickets your person has made their decision to move on your person has walked away okay but with the nine of cups and the star card here this person still they want what they want and they feel that they can heal this with the page of pentacles here and the three of pentacles and the knight of swords this third party is infatuated with your person and they are dangerously obsessed with you they feel like if they, they're going to try to attempt to tell your person can we just be friends can we just be friends and work this out? This is someone that is not going to stop. I feel like with the four of swords here and the ace of pentacles, I feel like this is, this person is not going to rest until they're able to start over, um, with your person with the queen of swords and the queen of wands cancer, you are being divinely, uh, warned here to protect yourself against this queen of wands energy. We have the queen of swords and the nine of wands. Okay. This is someone that may try to make it where you get into a car accident or I don't know. This is someone that's really wishing something on you. Yeah, look, see, we've got the karmic here that is holding on. They are holding on. Okay, this is someone that wants to see you hurt in some way. This is, this person's dangerous. They are, I mean, we're talking some fatal attraction type shit, okay? And they want you out of the picture. 
This is someone that wants to try to get your person to slip up so they can then send you screenshots. This is someone that's not playing. They want what they want. We're going to take it into the extended. Let's see what's going to happen here with this Queen of Wands. Um, I'm going to do a spiritual reading in case this person tries to attack spiritually. When I see the Queen of Wands, I'm seeing the devil here. I'm seeing the magician and I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. This person could go as far as doing spell work. Um, so I'm going to do a spiritual reading as to how to protect yourself spiritually from this person. And I'm also going to do a reading just on another note. I don't know if this person may try to have you attacked or something. Um, you know, this person may, I'm hearing cutting the brakes to your car. Like that's how serious this person is. They are not playing. Okay. This person is dangerous. This person is dangerous. <clears throat> um, all right. So, and let's see what's going to happen between like, if your person is going to step up and tell this person to leave them alone. And then we'll see what the outcome for this emperor and empress is going to be. Is this third party going to succeed in breaking you guys up? Okay. All right, guys. I love you all so very much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.